Hey everybody, it's Jimmy Moog here. And Callie Bell. And we are here to show you the insider tips and tricks from the creators for our new map, Bunny Hop 20 Escape Rooms. Wanna get started? Let's go. I don't know who actually started it. Uh, okay. All right, well, room one is very easy. You just open the door and there's nothing there. Oh okay. man, we broke the map. Get stuck. Oh, wait, there. There's the door. Don't know how I didn't see that before. All right. Room two. Hop to the tippy -de top. You actually don't have to hop till you get up here. But Callie gets mad if I tell people that. <laughs> okay. Room three. We have a bunch of plain white eggs. And what do you do with white eggs around Easter time? You gotta decorate them. Obviously. <laughs> Now, if you kind of aim towards, like, top middle of the egg, the sprays tend to work a little bit better. Oh, that's a cute one. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah. Good job. All right, and the door's open. All right, now. and that does it. Okay, next one. Pick a lucky duck. This was inspired by the Fairgrounder Carnival game, where you pick the duck. And uh, we couldn't actually make it where the ducks would flip over, and I was about to pick this one. <laughs> nope, you don't get to. Oh! It got it. <laughs> And the secret to that room is not to pick that duck, even though it came up three times, because it's actually random. You just have to get the right one, so you just got to pay attention. Can't tell you anything more than that. Here we have a machinery breakdown, so let's get in that control panel and fix it. I will tell you a secret. Um, the buttons we have are, yeah, we have a reset button. So look, the buttons turn on and off. And you have to, uh, all of them will turn some on and other ones off. So you have to have them all activated. So I'm going to reset it right quick. If you just want to solve it from there, skip ahead about 10 seconds. Because the easiest solution is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1. Problem solved. There you go. All right. Oh, goody. Moving right along. Everybody knows how much I love parkour. Yep, and I would like to point out that Callie designed all of this herself. <laughs> I can't blame you this time. Nope, you really can't. I didn't even suggest the vines. <laughs> you can skip ahead from here. Oh, here's a pro tip, too. If you get to this last egg, which I may or may not do... Uh, yep, okay, got it. All right. Just... Try to jump over this wall. Don't even try yeah. and land on it. You can jump over it. Because there's another... See, if you miss, <laughs> you start back at the start of this thing. But, Callie, go ahead and jump off your side. You will start right back on the wall as long as you clear the wall. Alright. I'm going to blame my issues on lag. Sure. This is a troll lag. Don't jump there. And <gasps> did I actually do it in one try? <laughs> you just made it. That never happened. I despise you. <laughs> I'm still working on the first part. Uh, Callie, if you would walk back down those stairs, though. Um, just do it. Okay. And right back there. But look, we have one of our helpful little bunny friends. Here's another tip. Watch out for that bunny, because anytime you see him, he will help you in some way, shape, or form. She? He? I don't... We never really discussed that, did we? It doesn't matter. What's the bunny's name? Let's go with Terry. That way it could be either. <laughs> Terry? Yes, Terry the bunny. Oh. Uh, we couldn't come up with a cuter name? Huh? What, what's wrong with Terry? Are you coming or not? Maybe. Okay, I made it. All right, Terry. Take me home. There we go. <laughs> All right, so... You may notice we have some colored eggs here. They are green, yellow, and red. Here's a hint. Just like a stoplight. <laughs> so green means go. Yellow means caution. Unless they teach you it means slow, which is incorrect. It, it means, means slow caution. Down. It means caution. Okay, fine. Anyway, so yellow, you have to duck. If you don't duck, you get sent back. And red, just don't run into red because you'll get sent back no matter what happens. So, green, you can just run to your heart's content. Yellow, crouch under. And red, avoid at all costs. And that will get you through. There are actually two doors that finish this room. There's the little door and the big door. 
I'll go in the big door. It's a very big door. So, <laughs> either way, you get taken to the next area. It doesn't matter what you choose. Although, if you go in the little door, you wind up in a little tiny room, like the one I'm in. But I ended up in the big room. Yep, so you're very small, and I'm a giant. So I tell the mirror that I'm too big, and it makes me tiny. That's not right, mirror. Seriously? Well, now I am too big. Now she's a giant. <laughs> okay, so. So let's just go exploring. Yeah, we do the other mirror. We go exploring. By the way, you can explore anytime you want. In fact, hold on, Callie, back up. Give him the give him the overall. Give him the whole the whole banana. No, you need to shut the doors. Oh, well, you're demanding. Yes, I know, but I want to show off my cleverly designed optical illusion. Mm -hmm. Okay. So right now, Callie is gigantic. I am. So. She's going to start running down the hallway, and you notice she's gradually getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller until she's teeny tiny next to that gigantic door. And you want to know a fun, uh, fun little tidbit? This is actually a normal sized door, <laughs> but the illusion works so well it makes it look like it's massive by the time you get to it. Anyway, running down the hallway, you may notice something funny, like, you know, pink fire coming out of the wall. At least I hope that's weird to you, because if it's not, I don't want to see your house. So we see what that is. Oh, there's a mirror. And there we go. Perfect room. Yep, exactly. Just the size of you. This is not so perfect. No, this is not. Once again, completely designed by Kelly. I simply oh, made it do what she wanted. <laughs> Telling you who to direct all your hate mail to. Just kidding, don't do it. This is the pattern. Red, purple, yellow, blue. And then I'm gonna yep. show you the way. Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> Gotta wait on the red again. Okay. Both quiet. Exactly. Be careful of those vines. I'll just be over here waiting. My anyway. giant tub of popcorn I swiped from the giant room. <laughs> ready? Yep, let's go. That's it. Just follow the pattern and follow the route Kelly took you. And now. Egg timer, you got to collect the eggs. You can only hold one egg at a time, so grab as many as you like, but you're only going to be holding one. And you'll notice, in fact, here, I'm going to go ahead, stand by Kevin, and I will show what happens. No, you stand by Kevin. Me stand by yes. Kevin? Yes. No, the, the truck. I am standing by Kevin. Okay. And you see, when you put your egg in, you get a check mark. So you have to fill all the check marks. Now we're going to hurry and try and fill them all in if you do not make it in time it will just restart all your progress so you got to start over again but yep three kevin two watermelon one fish stick and two peely and let's grab that fish stick and we are done there we go next room we have a bear. He's painting. He's got a cute little painting. He got a little paint on him because he's not a very careful bear. Yeah, but we're, we're just going to walk yep. right behind it. Yep, but you can't walk through. You have to crouch because we're sneaky like that. Now there are so many unicorns, but one of them stands out. Obviously, it's this one. Yeah, I don't think so. But he's the most honorable unicorn. You can tell. <laughs> oh, wait, no, it's this one. Haha. <laughs> so... We need to see what's going on with this one. We want to follow the leader, and he tells us... Well, I can't really see it. Can you see it? Yep, I can see it. Why fit in when you were born to stand out? And then we can ask him about standing out, and he actually just opens the door because he doesn't want to answer our questions. <laughs> so then we look through the dresser, and obviously it has a prop gun in it. I mean, who doesn't have one in the dresser? We need a little teeny tiny yep. peely egg. There's only one tiny peely egg, and I just did it inadvertently. Just bounce up here. Yep. 
That's the only thing that will fit through the hole is that little tiny egg. All right, here we go. So next up we have four eggs and a button. So if we push the button, that shows us a pattern. We have to follow the pattern. Pattern is purple, yellow, blue, yellow, red, blue. Go ahead. Okay, so purple, yellow, blue, yellow. I don't know if I got it. Red, blue, and there we go. If you notice a little lag in the buttons, that's deliberate. That's how it makes it, um, keeps you from putting it in too fast because that can mess it up. So that is totally normal. It was a one second delay on the buttons each time you push one. But anyway, there we go. Follow the pattern, opens the door, and you get to this wonderful room. But I want to talk to Terry. Not yet. <laughs> Once again, designed entirely by Callie. Just want to point that out. We're going to be getting a lot of hate mail. So, if, like me, you just cannot get through, you can ask Terry. Oh, Terry's so nice. I know. Or maybe Terry doesn't like us and just wants us to leave sooner. I don't think so. I think Terry is nice. Okay. And there we go, because that's the hardest egg to land, I can assure you. Oh, and... There we go. That's it. All right, so now you impulse your partner back into the other room. Oh, goodness, don't troll him. <laughs> okay, don't actually do that. <laughs> and I would like to say, too, this entire map was designed for to be playable by solos or duos, so... All the puzzles work with two people, but you don't need two people to finish. We got a locked door, and we got a bunch of eggs up on the ceiling. This got a is a key right here. And there you go. Grab the key. That opens the door. Also, if you're looking carefully, you'll notice this is a perfect... And look, I can't troll. Yep, that's right. We put in anti-trolling mechanisms. And another little tip, because, you know, I'm going to demonstrate. There's a checkpoint. So Kelly's going to drop her um, impulses because she's clever like that. Oh, nope, sorry, not happening. Nope. <laughs> so anyway, what I was saying is this map was designed for solos or duos, so it'll work with duos, but you can play through the whole thing solo too. And forgot to show the clue, oh. but that's all right. <laughs> the clue is that only one egg can win the prize, and it's the golden egg, which is also the only unique unrepeated egg in this whole room. And it opens up the door. And there we go. And that takes us to this little guy who's... He's adorable. Yep. He's holding on to an egg. His name is not Terry. What's his name? N not Terry, I just said. <laughs> Poor little bunny. <laughs> and you find the right spot that'll drop you through and hop to it. Sort of. And we have a red egg. And two red eggs. And we're hopping to it. Three red eggs. Hop. No, 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 more there. Four red eggs and one yellow. Five red eggs. Six red eggs. Seven red eggs. And one more yellow. So, two yellow, seven red. We're going to put in our amounts. Set it to two and seven. And talk to Terry one more time. And here we are in the final room. And what would an Easter map me be without an egg hunt? So there we go. Hunt those eggs. We have one egg out of eight. Thanks to our handy dandy uh, tracker there in oh. the corner. Well, they can well, only what? see me. So where did you oh, find right. that egg? Ha ha ha! Just kidding. That egg was here. <laughs> in the bush. Yes. Okay. Well, go find the eggs. I'm going. I'll just be over here eating popcorn. <laughs> There's a little fish stick in the water. Climb on up here. And there's another sneaky fish stick down in here. And Terry will help you hop out. 
Still eating popcorn. I see that. We got a peely egg. Back you here. will never find this one right here sitting on the ground at the base of the tree. <laughs> We're going to go down a rabbit hole for the next one. And find the rabbit egg. Terry will help you out again. And thank you for getting that other rabbit out because honestly, he'd overstayed his welcome at that point. <laughs> peely up there, so you can't quite get him, but. Obviously, because hop to it. And we're at seven of eight, and we see a little glow coming from those flowers. But you have to find the secret opening. There we go. That's it, guys. That is the end. Remember, if you want to, you can always head over to our hub to check out some other maps that we and some uh, friends and others have made. Um, don't forget over here. If you like this, if you want more of this, make sure to tweet Callie. Not just with your rage. Tweet her with good things, too, because <laughs> maybe she'll make another one. <clears throat> and that's it. Grab the egg and GG, everybody. All right. All right. Well, thanks so much. We hope you had fun playing. Uh, we hope these tips were useful if you got stuck anywhere. And uh, like we said, make sure to tweet Kelly if you want more maps like this and let us know. And we'll start working on another one. Thanks for watching. Have a great time. Uh, use one of our codes in the shop if you would. It really helps us out a lot. And have fun. Bye. Bye. Okay. This winter... One map, one man named Jimmy Moog, one woman named... We are not doing that. No, only I am. <laughs> All right, let's get it started. No, let's not get it started. Uh, fine. <laughs>